from me, psycho! No! Life is Strange, episode four, Dark Room. Now, the last episode ended on quite the cliffhanger, and going into this one, another cliffhanger, and I'm just waiting for episode five. So what did you think of this one? Oh, this is one of those games that just, I can't wait to finish. Like, I want it to be over. I wish that I could end now, but I'm gonna have to wait another six to eight weeks before they release. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed. Episode. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? I enjoyed the experience of playing through the first three episodes and getting to the point where I got. And this started off kind of slow where you weren't really utilizing any of your powers right away. And it took at least until like halfway through the episode before you actually got to start rewinding or criticizing what choices you were making, which I thought was weird. And then it flips on what it started with and just like backtracks a little bit of everything and then you just go on a different path. And I thought that kind of took away from the experience for me. Oh, okay. Cause yeah, I felt like this one gave you a choice that I never thought I'd have to make in a video game or in real life. That happens pretty early. It's dark. It's it's really dark, and you know I enjoyed it because it changed it changed the pacing a little. There was more gameplay in this one. You actually spend some time. It may have that may have been why you felt it was a little slow. You actually do some investigating. You're collecting clues. You're trying to piece it together. Tons of clues. Tons of clues. And luckily they're not too bad, but you do have to pay attention. Some of the numbers you might need to remember for next time because if they're circled in red, probably important. Don't forget those. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're gonna need Birthdays, those. Hint. <laughs> That yeah. might be important too. You might want to remember those important details. But luckily it's easy to manage that, especially once you come across them and you can go through your folder and look through. But I found uh, once again, like you get those achievements, your trophies when you're looking through and like trying to find the pictures. So I just go through my photo album, be like, I gotta look for this. So I just spend the whole time looking for things I'm supposed to be taking pictures of. Oh, you're supposed to take your pictures. Yeah. See, I'm trying to solve the actual mystery going on in this Arcadia Bay. I, I, it's it's gone for me. I'm like, Psh, mystery, there's no mystery. I know what happened. They start and talking I thought about I did. global warming, climate change. There, I mean, it's not really a spoiler at this point. It's just yeah. like there are things. There's I, whales all over the place that are on shore. Why? Beached whales. There is this one scene where you can actually do it in various ways. There's actually a flow chart that's out there on the internet now because the devs released it. Nice. You can figure out how do you get through the scene without hurting anyone. Yeah, so, that, that's one of the things at the end when it's like, oh, you hurt him, you did this, or no, nobody got hurt at all. And a lot of people did that, and I'm like, that, that was an option? I thought, like, <laughs> I got away with one, but the first way it ended was terrible, and I instantly rerouted. Oh, yeah, I rerouted. <laughs> I was like, that didn't go quite the little, way I liked yeah, it. That was so. a little darker than I had expected, yeah. but that's not even the darkest of the dark in this episode. It gets really dark, it gets really human. Yeah. And there was just choices that I didn't think I would have to make in a video game, like you said earlier, and I, but I did, and I, I don't know how I felt about it. I don't know either, because I rewound and did the other choice. I was like, I don't know if I feel any better. It's like one of those like Sophie's Choice things, like you just can't <laughs> yeah. really do it. But I did like, there was a quiet moment between Max and Chloe, the two friends that are going on this adventure and trying to figure things out. It was nice to get a sense of like what their friendship really means, and obviously they're really important, and that's something that you don't get to see in video games a lot these days, like a friendship between two girls they're in their teens. Like, I just actually can't think of another story where you have these two young women. It's one hell of a journey for both of those characters <laughs> yeah, in this game. it's dark, it's heavy, but... You know, and there's also the story of this missing girl that they don't really touch upon too much this episode. The girl that almost died, or did she die? Depends on how you played. Yeah, there's missing posters of her everywhere, and, like, that's kind of, like, the big mystery. It's like, what happened to her? Right? I, psh, we're gonna have to wait until hopefully the last episode answers. But I'm excited. I wasn't as excited about this episode as I was for the way in three ended even until the end of this one, mm -hmm. but I definitely can't wait to see how they're going to wrap all this up because if they don't like if they can manage to make this all fixed together i'm going to be an excited person yeah just one more to go so what are you going to give life is strange episode four i'm giving the dark room a seven out of ten i'm giving it an eight out of ten